Thank you very much, Courtney. Well, for many of us, spring means a chance to add some color to our homes. And here to help you do it right, we have color and style expert Sharon Greck joins us from Benjamin Moore. Let's talk about where we start, and it's usually the trendy colors of the season. I think everyone's really inspired by that. You don't necessarily use all of those colors on your wall, but it gets you thinking about it. And certainly during this time when it's still really gray, yeah, you yeah. want to start adding color. So whether you're wearing it, Thank That's you. a good start and then you want to start bringing it into your home. So we actually put together 20 colors that we see yeah. for the year that we're going to start seeing a lot of for the year. Okay. And the difference with paint versus the fashion accessories is we want to put a color out there that is going to sit in the backdrop and allow all those really fun trendy colors to um, to look their best, to look okay. at their most vibrant. So you can see there's a lot of neutrals there, Jeremy, as well, right? You can see the grays. Yeah, really there's just a few uh, really accent colors, is yeah. that the right term? There's with a the yellow few and pink accent colors. Yep, and those really pop, and so you're going to be seeing those a lot in patterns, um, in toss cushions, um, bedding, okay. fabrics, that sort of thing, and they're going to be in combination. So what we wanted to really do is show a color that um, depicts those trends, which we're seeing a lot of pastels. We're seeing everything lightening up. Um, starting just now. We've had a lot of saturated colors, but okay. we're getting into some lighter colors. So we've called out Lemon Sorbet as that sort of backdrop color. Right, and that is the uh, the Benjamin Moore Color of the Year. Color of the Year for 2013. Okay. And, and we'll show a few different ways of utilizing it. But you can see how that, it's light, it's pastel, it's very pretty and calm. And it allows those beach glass colors, those sea haze, the marble head gold, the yeah. stronger colors and accessories and accents to just sort of jump without it fighting. So it. is so. Lemon Sorbet something I'm going to use uh, just interspersed throughout the room or is this uh, a room in the home or is this a, a color that goes gets tied in throughout the entire house? It's light enough that it could go on the walls behind a lot of other things and it could sort of weave its way through rooms. Living rooms, um, offices, right. sort of a sunroom feel, something that where you want maybe more of a coastal bright light um, accent wall. Okay, we forgot some befores and afters that we wanted to talk about. Uh, there's a yeah. few things you want. Let's start with the before of the fireplace. What what don't you like about this fireplace in particular? Well, with the fireplace that we showed here, it's got a real pinky brick, and I don't know, um, a lot of people probably recognize that, and if they're not ready to renovate the entire fireplace, put a whole wall of stone, which is really beautiful. Very expensive. <laughs> Very expensive. So it's a good little do-it-yourself thing for a few years while you're waiting. Yep. So you can actually just paint it out. So if we go to the aft, after yeah, picture, after before, yeah. you can see how just simply by painting up the brick, suddenly that mantelpiece looks a lot more substantial. So it's got more presence in the room. And then, you know, as you notice, we put the wood in the fireplace. And we <laughs> I noticed that in the first picture, the wood's outside the fireplace. My tip, her tip makes it more substantial so that it has something to say. My tip. Put the wood, Put the inside wood the in the fire. Like and it. then you know what? Paint the wall behind it. I use Silhouette, which is a nice dark, dark, dark gray. Um, so it, it gives it more presence. It gives you more contrast okay. to that white on the fireplace mantle. All right, now let's uh, take a second look. Let's talk kitchens as kitchens. well. This is where a lot of us start when it comes to renovating the house. You know what? It is the center of the home, and this is really where you spend a lot of time. And usually where you start with your color palette, because you're picking countertops, backsplashes, that sort of thing, and then tying it in. So this is a very typical builder kitchen in white. Lots of us have it but we can see how we can sort of make it feel a little bit more sophisticated by changing the color out. Okay, so you go in, add some color and some stencil, which we're going to touch on later on yes. as far as the backsplash goes. So, so we let's can see, see that the one in the after, uh, and there you then go. you can see, again, I Very love different. to, isn't it different? And it's simply paint, because really we wanted to save some money um, by doing a stencil backsplash. So very inexpensive, you can do it yourself, you can incorporate whatever colors you want, right. which is fantastic. And then think about the ceiling, it's hard to tell in the picture there, but we painted the ceiling a dark color sparrow, and it just makes it feel more intimate, and suddenly that white kitchen cabinet looks brand new and special. And really brings <laughs> the floor and the ceiling all together. One last one yes. for you though, this time it's a, an, an office, and while I liked the old wood, you said it looked dated. Yes, it looks dated with the old paneled walls. And again, if you're incorporating that into your look, that's one thing, but it's a very easy thing to do as opposed to taking it off and drywalling. You get some nice texture by just painting over the paneling. So that's something that a lot of people are doing. Easy to do, you can just sort of sand it down a little bit, get rid of the high gloss, and then there you go. You can incorporate any color you want. Here we use lemon sorbet. So it's a nice opportunity to see how the color of the year works. Yep. We brought in a lot of blues, um, blue grays, which are also very on trend those sort of beach glass colors and again onto the ceiling so you just sort of fill the whole space with with color and without changing lighting we made that office a whole lot lighter a whole lot brighter a whole lot sunnier absolutely part of that That's is lemon sorbet and coming up we're going to talk a little bit of how you can use that in a couple different trends including how stenciling can help you get it up onto the walls we got that and more coming up on b2 so